How am I supposed to line the camera up like this? Come on, do something, for fuck's sake. Oh, this is the most shit loading screen I've ever seen. Hmm. Plenty of serious investigation going on in this room. Right, maybe we can line up the bastard thing now. Well, no, this this isn't really helping. All the boxes are very precarious at the moment. Right, well. Couldn't even tell you what I was bloody loading. Cats are show-offs, just in case you didn't know. They like to show off their acrobatic abilities. Until they can't and something falls off the shelf and it breaks. Mm. Wonder how many of the uh, kitchen cabinet doors have been scratching up. So I was going to go to the shops today, I didn't go to the shops today. I didn't fancy watching uh, Cock 26. You know, the climate change bullshit. And uh, it is bullshit because no one has actually said. Stop having more than two fucking kids. If everyone on the planet only ever had two kids, whether they get divorced, whatever, uh, one night stands, you know, then uh, wouldn't have a problem. The population would still be the same as when I was born, if they'd done it from that point. And I can still see the uh, the top screen. 1986 Proteus uh, software programmed by Flash. What happened to the Grandmaster then? He decided music wasn't his thing, he's going to rub, write rubbish games. Uh, joysticks one, okay, one joystick is enough. If it's joystick port one. It could be joystick port 1 and I don't really care because it looks shit. Hey. Let's try Darky P, didn't it? Uh, now we've got the bottom of the fucking TV. Wow, these boxes are very precarious, I must say. I must say these boxes are very precarious. There it goes, that a bit better. Yeah, not much. So yes, the Halloween uh, special was a bit of a disaster, I have to say. Ugh. Oh no, these are, why do they mix in the Cytronic and the other new games? I think I played this already, see? Yeah, Jesus Christ, I need a much older Tosec. Although that doesn't work either. I don't like doing it this way, right? Classic mode, you cocksucker. Come on, you piece of shit. Thank you. 
Now at least we can line up the bastard thing. And uh, yeah, well, it's a disaster in many ways that was. Uploaded the file at the same, pretty much the same time to both channels. And for some reason, after about 45 minutes, it was still saying, uh, pending. Processing will begin shortly. Well, it fucking didn't begin shortly. So, uh... Mm, have I played war? Wanted something. Not wanted Monty Moldo. I want to play Warlock the Avenger. Can't even work out what these fucking games are because of this idiotic method they're using. Check out web. Check it out. Yeah, it doesn't really help unless you press the rocket button. What's up? Second to last can of Coke Zero left. Gum is still being a bit of a cunt. Although luckily it's not swollen up on the inside. We're not too bad on the outside. Good thing I ain't got any twiglets then, innit? That really fucked me up. And uh, the um, dry roasted peanuts fell out of the packet. Don't worry, they fell out into something hygienic. So when I put them back in the jar, I was going to put them in anyway. Well, half the fucking uh, dry roasted uh, powder flavour shit is not on them now. So they just taste like regular peanuts. Yeah, it's all bollocks, mate. I do have some pistachios, which are, uh, I think they're six weeks out of date. But they're fine. They were sealed in the packet until, like, they were two weeks out of date. So it wouldn't matter. Foil fresh, motherfucker. So yeah, um, yeah, I don't think anyone really watched it on Retrotronics, well I didn't check this morning. Uh, didn't go that great on Mad Commodore either. Although, how was I supposed to know Main Meister was going to be late? I didn't know. So, is it actually worth still uploading videos? It's a good question, I have to say. Not really enjoying playing on the C64 full size with my critique joystick. You have to say it like that. It's the law. What's that from? It's either from Robocop or Dread 2012. I can't remember, mate. Probably covered this already. Murray! Hey, give me a chance, mate. Okay, how are you supposed to kill them? I don't know what you're supposed to do. Arachne power. Can I kill them with my web? No, I don't think it kills them, so I, I don't know what you're supposed to do. Get trapped in some scenery. Oh, you can fire. Oh, there's something. I 
No, you can't blow them up. You can blow, yeah, you can blow them up though. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Well, I suppose you have to think of it on the point of view that uh, I've got a couple of channels, one for uh, non-Commodore related stuff, although Halloween is the exception. Um, uh, Westworld. Ah, this is an advanced computer entertainment. I think they also did a game called uh, Night Rider, spelt with an N, N I T E. There was a C64 game like the Spectrum game, Zoom. I think it was Zoom. No, Trans Am, that was it. I can't remember what it's called now. Port 2, we're good to go, mate. Hmm. Rare appearance by uh, Stinky. Very brief and rare. You wanna go out, buddy? <whistles> what does that mean? It doesn't look like she wants to go out. No, you buy the door now. Does that mean you wanna go out? Does that mean it's pee pee time for you, buddy? Are you, well, you going away from the door? How am I supposed to let you out then? Well, you want to go out? You go out. Yeah. Come again. Come on, come on, babe. She's very scared of everything. I think it's because she's got a little head and massive ears. Um, she's sort of uh, Amy body type. Sausage dog. No, not quite as bad as. Um... Yay! It's just like the movie. I can't believe. Right, so the cactus will kill me. So the poos on the floor obviously kill you. And you can't scroll off the screen. So... That fucking. So it's like Berserk meets Gunfight. Is this the entire game? Hey! Yeah, so can I go off the side of the screen? Now, nah, this is the game. A bit like Seinfeld when he says, this is the milk when he has soup. Am I supposed to collect them? Yes. Really rubbish game actually. Oh, zipping through these like there's no tomorrow, mate. And it probably isn't. You want to go out too? All right, then, buddy. Come on. Come on, then. Come on, I thought you liked it. Come on, then. Adamski, you waiting to attack him when he comes out? He's not coming out, he's sleeping. Your shit. Hey. I keep forgetting to set up Windows so when I press the power button it will hibernate. War under sea. Um. In fact, my uh, Halloween. Uh, Premier was so dead. I actually zipped off and watched the uh, AVGN Commodore 64 based uh, Halloween thing. It's not up to his usual standards. You know, the AVGN style acting business with effects. Certainly not the best, but uh, he's certainly not playing them on real hardware. Those are fake scan lines like you get on. Um, you know, the T64, although I don't think he's using one of them. Now, he could be doing what I was doing in the 90s, and that is uh, running 
you know, a C64 emulators with a scan line option, which may have taken longer than the night needs to appear, uh, on a CRT monitor. That is possible. I'm doing that for young, so in fact, uh, they were chucking out some 17 inch Dell PC monitors, and I, I, I took one home because they still worked. I think they were just replacing everything with uh, 20 inch LCD screens or something, I don't know. A Red Ramp Racer, I think I tried that, Raid 2000, I definitely tried. Rainbow Dragon, I've tried. Who could forget Raid Over Moscow? Uh, da, 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 da. Rampage by Activision. Yeah, I went back and I checked this. Uh, my super flickery copy of Rampage, I don't know where I got it from. Whatever fucking idiot cracker did that version fucked up the uh, program. Because the PAL version flickers like a cunt. And I was like, nah, I don't remember it being this shit. And it wasn't. Because I later checked out some gameplay videos. But uh, I had Rampage on tape for my C64, I think it was 1987. Hmm. Hey, I thought it was alright. Uh, would have played it obviously in uh, two player games. Oh, we got to do the bins. Oh, I could go to the shops. Oh, I could get coronavirus. Oh, see, the problem is if I go to the shops, right, during the daylight hours. Uh, no matter how few people there are in there, I am actually going to have to wait in a fucking queue with loads of cocksuckers not wearing a mask. Because Boris the Cunt Johnson from the Cunt Servative Party has no intention of making face masks mandatory inside shops. Now, the supermarket I go to uh, the average age of the shopper is older because it's uh, more expensive than Asda and Morrison's and Tesco despite what they would have you believe with their Aldi price match generally and uh, you know if they had a fucking clue what they were doing they would just say look you have to wear a face mask if you come in shopping beep I'm not telling you what it is or that it's in Beep Woods Retail Park, that's for you to not know. So I'm like, a bit fucked really. My dad's not well. Uh, although my sister did call him over to help her build some bit of furniture she got, I don't know. Which surprised me. I've actually been holding back calling him over to uh, continue work on the kitchen I'll just do more of it that I can do but I can't lift up them worktops and they scratch really easy the ones I've got they look nice but they scratch really easy I found that out the hard way when I fitted the kitchen in my old house in 2011 I think it was I think it was 2011 because uh, I used the money for uh, a car that got written off by some knob who drove straight across a junction and fucking uh, went into the side of my car. Shame, because I actually like that car. So I bought another one, which is just as fucked as that one was. But anyway. So uh, it's a bit of an issue there. Plus, there's no real easy way to get a three metre worktop into a kitchen that's only 3.3 meters long yeah I think it's 3. 3.28 or something like that uh, that's a bit of an issue because you won't be able to uh, walk into the room because uh, the worktop will block the, uh, the doorway now I suppose if I was like 35 years younger, I could like go in and out of the kitchen by, uh, you know, doing a limbo under the uh, worktop that crosses across the doorway. 
Now the interesting thing is, games don't really take that long to load on average. Yeah, the early games do, but um, there is one game that's uh, ridiculously fast to load. I don't think it has any loading screens or anything like that, let alone loading uh, music. Most well, crazy comments by Mar Martek. Yeah, that loads. Um, that loads as fast as Elite with a software turbo loader on disk loads on the C64. Alright. I don't know why it has to load up two different loading screens because these all take like time to load in. I don't know any of these people. Was it worth it? That just flashed up for like... Yeah, you know what? I don't know. But yeah, anyway, the point is... Keeps going on and on about the fucking environment without mentioning Durex once. Or the pill. Or sterilisation. Or is it vasectomy? Or whatever. Spade of bitches, mate. It doesn't even say... Right, if you have more than two kids, right, not getting any more fucking uh, £2,000 uh, a month uh, free rent from a uh, housing benefit. Because people who can't afford to have that many kids... ...should not get help from the government. Fantastic, although I have no memories of playing this game. Now look how there's no flicker at all, brilliant way. Hey, why are you beating me up, you cunt? Leave me alone, you. I don't know why it's not working, actually. Why not working? It's never this trick, it is this fucking joystick, isn't it? Uh, and you fall off, of course. The sprites are blocking it, because, uh, you know, they're expanded. But, um, and they look shit on the, the C64, because the C64 grey, the darkest grey, is actually medium grey in brightness. Yeah, you see, I'm not enjoying this game with uh, this joystick. That's a problem, man. See, that's another thing. All these videos, because I'm loading them on tape, they take ages to fucking load. Uh, rally thingy didn't work. Oh, that don't work. And then I don't play them very long, so it's not very interesting for people to watch. B47 is shit. I dump pack land. Dizzy. Can't remember what Panic Dizzy is actually. I don't know if Panther actually works. played Panther with uh, probably a competition pro I think I had an ST when I bought Panther and I bought a competition pro for my ST yeah, a quick uh, two year old quick shot turbo looks a bit shit plugged into a 520 ST M not FM I didn't like the FM No, there was a lot of uh, bloody PSUs on the floor because you had one for the external drive and you had a bigger one for the uh, the actual 520ST. Yeah. That's, uh, that's right on the limit of being lined up, that is. I must have uh, tipped the camera a bit. What the hell are they doing today? 
Yeah, the loading screen is absolutely shit on this. This loading screen would be shit for a Spectrum, but. Um, Uninteresting fact, I've never played the Atari version on real hardware. Which is kind of odd. Uh, yeah, yeah, 1986, so... But when did it come out in 1986? When did I stop playing on my friend's Atari 800 stroke 800 XL? He bought an 800 XL as well. But then they were dirt cheap and they already had shitloads of uh, crap games on disc. Uh, and you already had a 1050 disc drive before you had 800 XL. Because they're du uh, double density or something. I think the uh, 810 disc drive is single density. They're not the same. Although the 810 disc drive looks, uh, looks bloody brilliant. It's a really nice bit of design work there. It's a shame Atari never did a monitor for either the XL line or the original 400-800. Probably would have had a shit screen on it anyway. My cheap shit Triumph TV which had a Grundig CRT tube in it was better than uh, the Commodore monitor which was about 300 quid. Could even have a little bit of a game where we decide uh, how long is Mad Commodore going to play this game before just fucking resetting it, loading another game from tape, virtually, virtually, and talking bollocks for another five, six, seven minutes, whatever. Yeah, I think the problem is, um, well, you're not going to want to watch me playing Blue Max, Beachhead, Manic Miner. What other games do I really like? Yeah, Terra Cresta. See, I've done all those games to death. There's no point actually recording them. Mm. There is about 20 to 25 games that I used to have that I'm not playing like this or even. Uh, you know, in, in the other room. Shouldn't really be playing this. Hey! Give me a chance, mate. But I've already covered this game. I don't need rapid fire, and he's joystick port too, so... Nice scrolling on this. Ah, come on, mate. He's chopped lift across with Zaxxon, basically. One of the best pieces of C64 music ever, for me. This is in my top three. Ah, oh, come on, man. And you don't get to hear it, because uh, the music only runs while you're playing the game, as soon as you die. Uh, if there is a pause mode, you don't get to hear the music. This is one of the best budget games on the C64 actually. Come here you little bastard. Hey! It's going to be game over now isn't it? I oh, know. Ah oh, come on. See? I don't get to hear the music. You don't deserve to hear this awesome music unless you're good at the game. I haven't even rescued anyone yet. Ah no, I've got joystick problems. It's common for people my age using this rubbish thing. Yeah, I won't be looking up any videos on the Mega 65. Fucking forget that, mate. Ooh. Ah, 
Oh, come on. Did they all just die? No, they're, they've been resurrected with me. So they can survive an exploding ship, but they can't survive, you know, going out and, uh, you know, braving the UFO. I don't know, it's still a brilliant case. 199 sir. 28 pound cheaper than Mario on this NES. Sorry, NES. Now, of course, the shadows are not going to come out on this shit camera. Because they're flickering on and off every alternate frame to give the impression of, uh, you know, a shadow. I don't even know if you can see them on the camera LCD. Ah! The tricky son of a bitch. Come on, man. Hey! Want to fuck out me? Ooh! Oh no! Just as we got to a nice bit of. Uh, Arpeggiation. Come on, man. Just do a decent thing and drop dead. You can't really get away from it. But you can slow down and do a bit of a top gun and uh, let them fly right by you and then just take them out like that. They're being an arsehole. Why is there no shadow in that one? Right? Don't know if there is a time limit or something. No, come on! Enough with the side shots, mate. Yeah, that's a really good game. But not with this joystick. My fucking uh, hand hurts already. No wanking jokes, thank you. You know, Parallax and Whizball are two games I'm not playing like this. Fucking, I've lost enough memories because this cocksucking uh, conservative party. You watch the news and it's like three people die and it's like, oh, it's all a big thing, oh, oh, three people are dead. And then they don't even mention the fucking how many people died from the virus. It's like 200 and something. It's like, no, 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 you're not going to talk about that. That's uh, tough shit, mate. Well, fuck you. Actually, I, I didn't play uh, Phobia. That was meant to be got a um, pathetic Halloween special video that we uploaded. Well, I don't think the video is pathetic. It's all right. Same sort of quality that you should expect from this channel. Not really any worse than anyone else's videos on the C64. But, uh, maybe I'll just give up on YouTube and spend more time with my cats. Although well, technically, because the two have to be isolated from each other, don't they? Yeah, so anyway, this is a, a Puyan knockoff. This was originally by Advanced Computer Entertainment. Yeah, port two. Good, good. Good. Is that loaded now, or is there going to be more flashing lines? Yeah, this thing is absolutely useless because it doesn't show you if the tape is actually turning or not. You've got no idea what's going on. It's like being deaf and blind and loading games on the uh, C64 pretty much. Which is 
doesn't seem like a good way for me to uh, be loading uh, tape games on the C64. But there may be retro games, know what they're doing. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, mate. I mean, the person I gave a free the C64 to uh, doesn't even do videos anymore, one of them. And uh, not that I look up his channel, but Nostalgia Turd and 8 uh, Bit Goit as well, those two fucking arseholes, they hardly make videos. Bloody hell! Give me a chance, I was having a bit of cola in it. Pizza in space, obviously, being a sketch from the Muppet. So, although this is a lot like the uh, Darling Brothers games, it's probably written the same shit fucking uh, game making thing. Um. <coughs> I don't think he's actually buying it. Oh hell. Uh, to be fair, if I'd got this as an early game, really early, like when I first got C64, I might have been all right actually. It's actually more difficult than Puyan. I think uh, Data Soft or Data Most did uh, the tape release of uh, Puyan. I think it's Data Soft. I have to check that. I think it's the same people that did uh, Mr. Do on tape in the UK. supposed to do? I'm supposed to rescue this bastard. Hey! Motherfucker. Jesus Christ, we've done the level. No idea what's going on there, so... I mean, can you actually just rescue them without waiting for them to stop coming down? I don't know. Yeah, you can. Yeah, well, that's a bit iffy. Alright, next game. Pixel City Skater. That sounds like a modern game. Uh, I ain't got a problem with modern games as such, but I don't want them stuck in the uh, list of tapes. Especially when I can't read the full fucking, uh, you know, title because some idiot designed this thing. Just seeing if there's anything else. Anyway, that was a Mastertronic version. Uh, what other games did uh, they do? Don't have Puyan, I do have Mr. Do. Mr. Do is the uh, game that famously has Wayne is Gay written on the uh, cassette label in fucking uh, Blue Biro fucking nobbit. Um, but as I got it in a bundle of games that came like with a C64, I did leave him negative for that. There's obviously uh, one of these box shifting knobheads yeah a bit like that reseller who used to live near me I think he's moved now and uh, he has hardly anything for sale now so I guess the house move took up all his uh, money that he was spending like buying his stuff in uh, bulk I don't know where he found all this stuff but anyway he must have uh, moved because uh, he don't offer like you know, to to deliver stuff anymore. So, and if I'm buying stuff with PayPal, which means I've got to go to the bank and put stuff in my savings account, I ain't putting PayPal on my main bank account. 
Uh, then I can buy it off anyone. I don't need to buy anything off him. Mm. It's not a great loader, I have to say. In the top 10 of loaders, this would be like, you know, fucking right down there with uh, standard Commodore loader bullshit. I think the reverse side of uh, Revenge of the Mutant Camels actually had a slow loader on one side, with well, a copy my mate had did. Because the turbo loader side wouldn't work on his tape deck half the time. See, he got a C64 later than me. And not only did I get a C64 early, but I had the tape deck left over from my VIC-20 starter pack. Can't remember uh, exactly when he got one, but uh, he got a CPC later anyway. Oh, fuck me, I've got no idea if this is working. So I'll roll up time it is then. Very bad for your health playing C64 games on tape from the C64. Oh, this plastic's not very good. I'm going to have to that out later. Oh,
Just green like that. Oh, sorry. It's not the camera, the camera ain't good. I should probably uh, clarify something it's because I'm not ticking, mate. Currently it's been uh, roughly six months since I had my last vaccination. So there's that. And there's uh, plenty of uh, new cases every day. And uh, if for whatever reason uh, it got bad enough and I had to be hospitalised, something had happened to my cats because there's no one to look after them. Uh, is it Joyce you put one you reckon? Could be. Oh well that was a waste of time. Just like this thing. Uh Popeye is not on tape. I need the uh you know the one with the uh spectrum graphics, I don't know that one. So, you know, there's a lot of reasons. And actually, it would probably be all right from, uh, you know, how bright it is point of view to go to the shops this week and should be able to uh, zip out at like, I don't know, maybe uh, 20 or five. How many people could be in uh, the supermarket at like, you know, 10 to five? They've, they've still got to be at work, haven't they? 
and the mums from the school, you know, they, they've got to be at home doing the fucking dinners for the little shits, I don't know. It's a bit like when I bought this classic car, right? I bought this uh, BMW E30. Obviously, it had the uh, six-cylinder engine. But sadly for me, it wasn't the uh, 2.5 litre, which has disc brakes all round. And, uh, yeah, generally it was a bit tired. You know, I would pass the MIT and all that, but uh, it wasn't very nice to drive. And uh, I think this is the eighth one of those that I've had. All the others were the 2.5 with the uh, disc brakes at the rear. And, uh, you know, they were in mint condition. At least two of them were in absolutely mint, almost new condition as far as how it drove. Um... And I'll just like say, mm, you know what, I might drive the car today, and uh, I never did. Computer rank, amateur, yeah, novice, we're going novice, white into the D. Okay, it's in there. This looks a lot more typed in uh, compared to Hustler. In fact, why don't I just fucking load Hustler? Because I loaded this now, innit? And where's the uh, thing? This is shit. If you want to play pool on the C64, just play Hustler, innit? Not the magazine. Don't play it with Hustler, the magazine. That's just rude. Rude! And I'd say, yeah, I'm going to drive that car today. And I never would. I think the last time uh, between MOTs, I only drove it like, uh, I think about 20 miles. So it's, uh, it's about one and a half miles round trip to the supermarket. It's, it's less than two miles. And, uh, yeah, it was... Uh, about 14 miles to my parents, which I've, I've never driven it to. But uh, it was 12 miles to the garage, there and back. Because uh, the garage I used to have my teaser car was the one my dad went to, and that was about a mile away from his house. And I uh, never had any work done on it. I used to take it for my MIT and it would pass, and they were happy with that, and I was happy with that. I think I paid 2,400 quid for the car. It has a few issues. But it's a top of the line 320i SC. So it has the uh, fantastic fuel computer. On board computer, you get a stand of it. I had the second one. Now, fucking roll the die. What kind of apocalypse is this, mate, where you have to fucking roll the dice? It's just like coronavirus. No, that's a Russian roulette mate for me. Prodigy. Mm. It says big box, so it must be a full price game. I hardly ever drove that car, and it's a bit like what it is now, except this is my daily driving, although technically it's a classic car, it's about two decades old. Modern cars are shit. I wouldn't piss on a modern BMW, would it? You know, alright, fair enough, the uh, Mini, which is a rebadged Peugeot piece of shit, but BMW is, uh, you know, front wheel drive. But now the One Series is front wheel drive. Well, what kind of knob? And fucking buy a front wheel drive BMW. That's like buying a Mercedes 190E with a manual gearbox. 
the manual gearbox on them was shit. It was as bad as a fucking uh, forty era. Horrible. I would drive an automatic now, especially if I bought a four by four. But anyway, there's none for sale. Now I'm not spending six grand on some like you know twenty twelve Volkswagen or something because uh, it won't drive as nice as my car. It won't be as nice to be in. Ah, uh, it just won't be as nice, mate. There's nothing special about them car. However, I wouldn't get any speeding tickets if I bought a one litre Volkswagen Pope. But I don't want to drive on the uh, dual carriageway with a piece of shit like that, thank you. I've got enough problems. Plus, that's the thing, the uh, last car, which is the same as uh, the one I use all the time now, different colour though. When the idiot drove into the side of that, I just got out of the car, even though it was a bit of a fucking uh, soup bowl on the uh, driver's door. If I was in some piece of shit, I'd be walking with a fucking walking stick now. That's why I bought another one of them cars. I was only meant to have this car for like a, a year at most. It's only like 950 quid, including delivery. Yes, I bought it over the telephone, never do that. Fucking uh, car dealers are not, they're not fucking, uh, you know, honest at all. But uh, I never found another one. They're very difficult to find. And that was it. Now they're fucking impossible to find. That's why idiots keep knocking on my door. Is the car for sale? Why the fuck would the car be for sale? Well, I might as well just stop the camera and just fucking uh, restart it, innit? Yeah, boxes didn't move, so you probably wouldn't even notice that I'd done that. So, yeah, it's a similar sort of situation. I'm like, yeah, today we're going to go to the shop, so I never do. And this isn't my classic car. Interesting. Nineteen eighty six, eh? I never had this game. How'd you start the bloody game? This joystick put one F seven to start. Is that F one? Actually, is it a dog? No, it's not a dog. It's like a little monkey. Very tiny screen. It's only using a quarter of the fucking screen for the play area. Next. Yeah, I don't blame people for clicking off my videos. They're still cocksuckers for doing it, but... Project some project shit out of luck. Ooh, prohibition. Uh, I think that's like um, oh, fucking. Hell, what was that film with Sean Connery? The Untouchables. I think it's a bit like that. Hey Dan, why you got your claws in the bloody neck curtains? You little shit. You're not allowed to do that, you know you're not allowed to do that. It's not bloody climbing frame, mate. Right, buddy. Why don't you stick your face in the camera so I know I'm not talking to myself, can you? Mm. Had enough sleep today? Yeah, don't worry, I'm getting fed up playing these shit games. Now, of course, Aslan is the most vocal of all my cats, but he's not saying anything at the moment. Yeah, what do you want? Mm. 
He's a big sabre teeth at the front, they're a bit yellow, actually. I'm worried about his teeth. He's only five and a half. He doesn't eat enough biscuits. He won't let me look at his teeth. It's a real nightmare trying to get him to let me see his teeth. Bad enough I have to put both the reading glasses on at the same time and use a torch. Let's have a bit more of this uh, coffee. Endangered species this is. I've uh, got about a third of uh, 200 gram you know, jar of coffee and uh, an unopened one. But that's caffeinated. I can't be drinking that at 10 o'clock at night. I've got enough problems, mate. You were bored, didn't you? There must be loads of things for you to explore in this room. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video, if I'm honest. And I'm always honest. Oop. This cup is so heavy, it's making my joints click. Bloody hell. Oh, I think there's a recipe for chicken soup on the front of this. Not that you can see it. Let's see, what time is it? So, yeah, I could actually uh, go out right now and... Drive back at, at night in the traffic. I can't shoot him. I'm trying to shoot the bastard. How many shots did it take? The recoil on the gun is pathetic. I don't like this game either, this game shit. Done Project X already, not playing Psychedelia, or Cytron? No, actually, done Psycho. Psycho Peaks USB, you, you can uh, forget that. Do that again. Very uh, divisive uh, magazine advert for this. She wasn't really my type. She had a bit of a piggy face, actually, I have to say. Maybe that was part of it, because it is Psycho Peaks. Sorry, poor sign features. Let's leave it at that. Although, because she was like in a bikini or something, you know. Not quite as bad as the old nipple shot business. Oh no, was it game over? Mm. This caffeine isn't working hard enough against the uh, boredom of playing these shit games randomly. Mm. I have to say, on average, so far, it's not quite one and a half hours. But uh, did have more fun playing the Vic Twenty games, on average. Now, when Vic Twenty games are shit, they're really shit. Actually, most of those are unexpanded games. You can't get away from that problem. Five K is not enough to have like a really good game most of the time. Yeah, actually, I could go and fill up the tyre on the car. There's going to be cocksuckers walking past me all the time while I'm doing that. We need to sort out the garage. Although there's barely enough room in there to move. It's not like my car's big. If I bought like a, a 10 year old Fiesta or something, it would be to the same width as the uh, car I've got. I think the doors on uh, a two-door Corsa are the same size on my fucking uh, BMW Coupe, mate. BMW, innit? it?
Who are you searching for, buddy? You're looking for something. Oh yeah, must must remember to throw away the uh, the old brand flakes today as well. She's taken uh, three uh, bi-monthly dustbin collections to have enough room to get the last of the stuff out of here. Jaleco. Looks, looks like a 1984 game to me. I don't know what he's supposed to do though. And yet still we managed to do a level. So this is actually a Jaleco arcade game. You have to check it out. Maybe. So I'm the green one, obviously. Very Benny Hill music, I have to say. Did I just lose a life here? Obviously the numbers on the bombs in the countdown. Bone around. What am I supposed to do? This is taking longer than the fucking the rest of the game. I think you've never been in this room, mate, the way you're uh, investigating everything. Can't remember uh, which Vic 20 I used to uh, play those cartridge games. There is a Vic 20 in this room, but uh, still on the shelf and in the box. I have no idea. I've got. I don't have as many Vic 20s as uh, C64s, but. Uh, some people would say I've got a problem with, uh, you know, buying C64s, but I haven't bought any for ages, innit? it? Right, buddy? Don't keep the camera over, good boy. Fancy putting a projector on. I've run out of shit to watch. What was I watching yesterday? Ah, oh, the, the Walking Dead. Oh, I watched Nightcrawler. That was quite good. Mm. I think that was about it, actually. I've run out of TV shows. That's a problem, really. And all the TV shows that I am waiting for at the moment... Apart from Lost in Space, which is uh, all about five weeks away before that gets released, um, they all get shown once a week, innit? it? I don't like once a week bollocks, mate. I don't come from a place where once a week is enough. It's rubbish. Yeah, the other one is uh, Dexter New Blood, which, uh, you know. That's going to be released uh, one episode a week, probably a break for Christmas. I don't know how many episodes there are in the season. I'm trying not to uh, 
look up any of that stuff because I don't want to know anything about it I just want to watch it now uh, I think was there eight seasons of Dexter or was it seven it wouldn't take me that long to uh, binge watch all of those certainly not long enough for the uh, you know if there's ten episodes in uh, this new Dexter thing it wouldn't take me ten weeks to watch them <coughs> mm. Yeah, well, I think this will be the last game for today. I'm bored with this shit now. Well, it's quite atmospheric, sonically speaking. I think we have played this game, though. He can fire. But not all the time, it would seem. Have I just changed levels or something? Right, so... What are you supposed to do? The status panels are all standard Petsky uh, characters there. Teleports. Sound is quite nice on this actually. How do you get back up places? I don't understand what the difference is between the green things there instead of the blue ones on the floor. I can't actually see any kind of scanner or as such. There's a lot going on in the uh, status panels, but... Uh well, the tree isn't going down. This might be an alright game, I really need to uh, work out how you're supposed to play it, what you're supposed to do, because so far it don't make any sense. But I never had this game. I did have one game from beyond, in the uh, big cardboard box. This wasn't it though. Why is it going so slow? Yeah, I'm not really going fast enough, right, it blocked there. Yeah, no, it's no point playing any more of that, because I don't know what you're supposed to do, innit? I thought you said it's the last game you're going to own. Yeah, well, maybe there was a bit of hope there that um, I might find a game I want to play. So there was at least uh, maybe two or three games in every, uh, you know, sitting of uh, you know playing the Vic 20 unexpanded games that I wanted to play it doesn't seem to be happening if you do it on the C64 like this although to be fair some games don't work they should because in the Tosec 
if they're untested they go in a different directory ZZZ or something I don't know uh, sometimes the joystick port 1 port 2 business sometimes it's because you can't have rapid fire on it sometimes this joystick isn't up to the challenge and sometimes although the uh, the tap does work doesn't work on vice 2.4 I have to get like a later version of vice to load that one don't know why that is might be a bad thing I don't know it's only happened once but uh, yeah there's not really any point just like you know cluelessly going through the C64 back catalogue you're much better off just playing the games that you actually liked or you you know you know are good good luck finding a channel that's uh, still active that tells you that there's not many mm. Yeah, it's still bright enough for me technically to have gone to the shops and he's uh, 1653 I believe so <clears throat> probably is time for a different system but can only play games on this TV it's the only TV I've got at the moment, large TV, apart from the one in the breakfast room. But uh, yeah, I don't like playing games in there, and that's not really going to work. This, the room is too small to have a table in there to have like a thing. Although, well, no, technically, I have got the uh, Amstrad, uh, you know, TV modulator thing. And I think one of my Amstrads I know works fully because I loaded a tape from there. <laughs> hey, hey, don't do that, buddy. Well, the droid looks nice there. There's not really much else going on in the background. Hmm. The graphics by Mo Warden. I think she used to do Novagen stuff. Oh, there was a Novagen uh, game I haven't played yet. I can't remember what it's called. It's Battle Summit or other. Hmm. So, yeah, it would be a good idea to get a Tapuino. It's not really great just loading these games blind on the C64 because some taps don't work when they do work on Vice and the joystick problem, quality of the joystick, port 1, port 2 business, blah blah blah. It's a frustrating experience. But uh, I could plug in a real C64 into here but the problem there is the uh, composite video input is not working great. I'll have to find the SCART cable for the uh, C64. I might try that, see if that's all right. And then if that's all right, I'll buy a different SCART adapter for the composite video. Fuck knows where the uh, carrier bag full of all the gubbins that come with it, you know, the TV. There's two sets of uh, LCD glasses that come with this. And Pioneer ones as well, uh, Panasonic ones, you know, the ones you charge up for the 3D mode. So it's taken quite a while to load. I hope it's a good game. I hope it's one of those games I go, wow, wish I had this back then. That rarely happens now. I think we're scraping the bottom of the barrel on the C64 now. There's just like, there are only so many good games. However, there are more really good games on the C64 than the NES that is a fact YMMV of course but uh, generally speaking and it's got nothing to do with the music 
or even the sprite flicker is just that there's so many C64 games that you know even if 0.1% of them are good there's quite a large number is 100 games there straight away I guess um, I did actually want to play uh, Pulse which is a 16k shoot em up on the big 20 but a bastard thing will not work on this thing. I've tried three different ways of loading it. I have. Don't disagree with me. Thing on the spring. Controls are really fucking bouncy, I don't like them. And apart from the uh, controls, which is a shit idea to do it like this, uh, it's not a bad game, it looks alright, sound effects are nice, sprites are nice. Yeah, backgrounds are a bit plain, but. Uh, What's that thing for that? It's quite an interesting game actually. What have I done now? Quite a large game then. I uh, know, how are we going to get back up there then if they all go like that? Thank you. No, we were just there. That's a dead end. We can't go back up there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just the bouncing around is really dumb. Let's make a game like this and uh, put the robot on a pogo stick, which would never have been a thing anyway. What's the name of that robot in um, Season 2 of Buck Rogers? Was it Crichton? Yeah, you never saw him with a massive pogo stick. I thought the camera just uh, beat to say it's like turning off. No, it isn't the camera out of thing. So. Why can't you get up on that level? That's dumb. It's infuriating to play as Cauldron 2, which I can't play because obviously uh, I can't use a quick shot. Turbo, which is how I had to play that game. Uh, bollocks, eh, enough.